Hey everybody, uh, I've got another gene review um, and a little bit of a comparison uh, between this new pair of unbranded uh, 201, the tapered uh, genes that I just got from uh, Nordstrom's and the Levi's 501 Premium Goods uh, shrink to fit 12 and a half ounce, 12 and a half ounce raw denim that I've had for uh, probably a little over a month and I've been wearing quite a bit. But uh, back to the unbranded, um, I just got these from Nordstrom and uh, like in my other video, if you check that out on these, the 501s, um, I purchased them online. Uh, those are the Levi's directly from uh, Levi's website because that's the only place in town or the only place I can get them because in town here there's really not um, a venue for you know a, a wide variety of different types of Levi's so um, I picked uh, those up from Levi's website uh, on a promotion deal and um, I got you know a really good deal on those uh, Levi's uh, the unbranded, I could only, well, I checked a few different websites, and the best one was uh, Nordstrom's. And uh, part of the reason that Nordstrom's was the one to go with is that um, you can uh, get the pants, they'll ship them to you free, and they will also accept the pants uh, in exchange or return for free. Uh, they send you a a parcel select return service slip with the package so that if you do not like it simply put it back in the box slap on the return label and send it back to them for free so I thought you know what that's perfect because I can't go someplace in town and try on different unbranded brand jeans and see if they fit or if I like them etc etc so uh, the Nordstrom's was the best uh, website that, that I could come across for the unbranded jeans and um, they're about eighty-two dollars. Uh, that's pretty average price, I think. Um, seems to be eighty-two dollars is about, you know, what you'll find, whether you go to their Nordstrom's or a different website. Uh, the premium goods were a little bit more, hundred eighteen dollars. But if you're patient and you wait, uh, sign up to get their email uh, promotions sent to you. Uh, if you're patient, you can get these jeans up to 40% off because uh, it's once or twice a year. We'll have a 40% 40, uh, 40 off promotion and free shipping. And uh, if I remember right, that's what I used to buy these pants. So I got you know a really good deal on them. Um, it came. It was actually under the price of the uh, unbranded, um, a little bit less. So I, I, I like these jeans a lot. Um, I think there's a lot of value. You know, I mean, uh, eighty-two dollars is still, you know, a lot for somebody, for a lot of people to, to spend on a pair of jeans. Um, you know, I can understand that. Um, they are, you know, it's fourteen and a ounce, fourteen and a half ounce rod denim, and uh, you know, the fit, the finish on them is, is nice. You know, you can tell that it's it's done fairly well. They're not made in the USA, neither are the Levi's. Uh, the premium goods Levi's are not made in the USA either, but you know the overall quality of the jeans is is pretty nice. Uh, it's of course selvage denim, and you can see that you know in the stitching. Um, there's the Levi's version, which I kind of like the uh, Levi's red and white a little better than the uh, the unbranded brand uh, blue and white. I don't know. I just like the uh, the red a little bit better. Um, I do like, for example, the stitching on the Levi's a little bit better as far as the color goes. I just like that yellow. I mean, it just uh, it just kind of pops. So I think that's kind of nice compared to uh, the unbranded, which is a little more you know just uh, mellow. I don't know, <laughs> for lack of a better a better word. Um, some of the features of the pants are nice. I like the pockets on these unbranded brand jeans. Uh, they're pretty deep, a little bit deeper than Levi's. A little bit tighter fit too. So 
like with my uh, cell phone I've got a, a Galaxy 4 and um, it goes all the way in and it just feels like it's secure it's not going to pop out um, doesn't have the tip of it kind of sticking out so the back pockets I like because I, I do carry my cell phone there that's pretty much the only place I carry it it's my back pocket um, so I like that over the uh, the Levi's because the Levi's are a little bit more a little bit more baggy a little wider so the back pocket on those I like a lot uh, flipping to the, to the front here the coin pockets also pretty cool because it's really deep so if you're somebody that likes to use the coin pocket like I'll put a Zippo lighter in there sometimes or you know that's typically what I put in there if I'm gonna stick something something in there my, my lighter and it's nice and deep so it just it just drops in there and it's not going anywhere um, one of the things I kind of don't like about the pants are, are the rivets um, because they're so kind of smooth and shiny to me that seems kind of generic and I don't really like that a whole lot I kind of prefer uh, the Levi's um, with uh, it just has a little more texture to it it's has a little more patina to it so I kind of I prefer that versus the kind of real smooth flashy looking uh, rivets a good thing about the rivets that they did on the unbranded is they riveted the back pockets and I think that's a nice touch that's something that um, Levi's used to do um, many 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 years ago uh, and they stopped doing and they went to uh, a bar tack which is the stitching you see right here and that's what they went to the unbranded actually has uh, if you look really closely it actually has both so it has the rivet and the bar tack um, for the back pocket so I mean they're really reinforced and I think that's a nice feature if you flip them over again you know of course you don't see them from this side because they're covered they're hidden so that they're not going to scratch furniture or when you lean up against the car or whatever it's not going to scratch the car so I mean that's a nice little touch I definitely like that um, the stitching is you know pretty quality looks good it's got some double stitching here Levi's is just like a single stitch um, the feel of the denim too I like it feels good 14 and a half ounces it just feels nice I like that um, the the other downside to these jeans though that is kind of a deal killer for me and I'm probably gonna send these back so yeah I wanted to do the review first for somebody out there just give them some maybe some information that's not already on YouTube right now um, I know there's other videos but you know maybe I did do you know a little different angle uh, maybe catch it in a little different way but one of the things I did not like about the unbranded jean was the cut um, for me I don't like the low rise cut and uh, you know there's about an inch difference between the 501s and the uh, the taper fit uh, 201 there's so you know it, it's it's kind of tight in the crotch you know and uh, kind of a short fly to it so and I noticed that right away when I you know was going to put the pants on you know you've got four but actually yeah four total buttons and with the Levi's you've got you know a total of five you know so there's a, there's about an inch maybe just a maybe a little bit more than an inch difference between those two and and for my particular comfort and body uh, the way that they fit they just didn't fit the way I wanted them to fit um, but there again is the beauty of uh, Nordstrom's because you can try them on see if you like them and if you don't you send them back for free so that's what I, I'm gonna do uh, with uh, with these pants you know unfortunately I wish uh, at this point uh, unbranded does not have a mid-rise uh, jean they only have a low a low rise um, so I'm hoping at some point that uh, you know they'll they'll make a, a mid-rise because other than that I really like the jeans a lot so you know it's kind of unfortunate um, you know that's 
basically about it. Um, I think uh, you couldn't really go wrong with the unbranded uh, jeans. Um, you know, it, it's 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 a lot of value um, if you want salvage denim. Um, or you know, like I said, you can also go the route of getting a pair of Levi's if you're patient. Um, you know, I know they get knocked uh, for various different reasons, but the premium goods. Uh, Levi's are, are really made pretty well. Um, if you check out my other video, I, I do it in more detail. i uh, give you a more detailed review. But I think if you catch uh, the right promotion and you get these jeans uh, when they're on sale and free shipping, I mean, you really can't go wrong with the, with these uh, 501s. And they have a couple different versions of the premium goods. Um, I think the 511s and uh, a couple others. And I mean they're breaking in nicely. I think I've got, I've had like I've been wearing them pretty regularly for about a month, and uh, you know they're coming along pretty nice. I've washed them one time because they were a little bit baggy, and uh, otherwise I probably wouldn't have washed them. But they were just a little bit baggy. They are these are shrink to fit. Um, but you can see they're kind of breaking in nice. I mean, they've got some nice, starting to get some nice character to them. And uh, I just really think you can't go wrong with the, with the premium goods uh, Levi's. So uh, either way, you know, both are great pairs of jeans. Just a matter of fit in my case. But uh, I, would, I would recommend either one. Uh, so I just wanted to give that uh, information out to whomever. And hopefully this is helpful. If uh, you could, you know, comment, uh, hey, have any input, that'd be awesome. Uh, appreciate that, and uh, hopefully this is helpful. Okay, adios.